Hello boys and girls, welcome to Pokédex, the channel where I build decks for the Pokémon trading card game. Today's deck is the most anticipated one, probably, Giratina EX Vileplume. This is a very interesting deck, uh, unlike any other deck that I've uh, ever played in this game. Well, I've only been playing for an, one year, so uh, take that with a grain of salt. But yeah, it's a really interesting deck. I'm not sure if it's going to be Tier 1 or, or not. Uh, it's definitely good, but I think... If players start playing Hex Maniac, it just wrecks this deck. But let's just jump into the deck. I think you guys will get what I mean when we talk about the cards individually. So we start with Giratina EX, our main attacker. It's a basic EX Pokemon with 170 HP. The ability Renegade Pulse, really annoying. Prevent all effects of attacks, including damage done to this Pokemon by our opponent's Mega Evolutions. So their Mega Evolutions, like Mega Rayquaza, Primal Groudon, Mega Manetri, cannot deal damage to our Giratini EX, again they play the Hex Maniac, but hopefully uh, most decks will only play like one or two Hex Maniacs and they cannot use the VS Seeker for the Hex Maniac again, so Giratina will hopefully prevail. Chaos Wheel is an attack that costs a lot of energy, so uh, four, uh, two of them are colored, so hopefully you can get the Double Dragon energy and the Double Colossus energy in there, just a couple of energy attachments and deal 100 damage which will to hit KO uh, pretty much all the EXs uh, if the opponent has a Mega that's not enough but the Renegade Pulse will make it really hard for the opponents to play Mega Pokemon against Shiratini EX so I don't I'm not really concerned about that uh, the effect on KO's will is also really interesting uh, the opponent can play two special energy or stadium cards on the next turn so if we have a vile plume down which item locks both players uh, chaos will will uh, basically remove pretty much all the other things that the opponent can do it just leaves the basic the Pokemon the basic energy and the supporters that's all they can play if we chaos will with a vile plume in play so that's really interesting and I guess the deck will try to play the Vileplume as quickly as possible while using the least amount of items possible. So we have a 3-3-3 Vileplume line, we want to get this guy early on and I can just start talking about the, the trainer cards as well because the deck kind of, uh, there's a lot of synergy so the cards intermingle with themselves, the explanations. We have four Forest of Giant Plants, the newest stadium which allows us to evolve them the grass Pokemon on the same turn that we put the previous evolution down so we can actually get the Vile Plume in the first turn, uh, possibly. And then as far as the items go, as I said, we have two level ball, four trainer's mail, four ultra ball, really good to help us find our evolutionary line and of course also the Shamini Hex. We play a couple of these, we actually need some bench space but I guess we can play the, the Shamin down, we can play a couple of them at least. Uh, another item that I'm playing is Lucky Helmet. Um, decided to not go with the uh, muscle bands in this deck. I never felt like the damage was the the key uh, in the games that I played. I always felt like if we set up correctly, uh, the opponent will most likely concede. So Lucky Helmet is really good. We have to put it down before the Vile Plume, but if we do and the opponent is not one hit KOing us, it's really good. We will get to draw a lot of cards out of it. So yeah, Lucky Helmet pretty cool card so as far as items that are not supporters or stadiums that's all we have and of course I also talked about the stadium but let's just go back to the Pokemon we have a couple of high dragon EX in here dragon road if we have a stadium card in play the dragon's retreats cost two uh, colorless energy less so we can actually retreat for free with a um, or sorry not for free uh, all of the our retreats just start costing one so that's decent at least we can just retreat to the Giratina discarding only one energy and also with a high dragon if we had get, actually get to have both high dragons out we can retreat for free from uh, with any of our dragon Pokemon of course shred is also an interesting attack with a double colorless energy with a sorry double dragon energy and uh, any other energy that we might have in our hand it allows us to deal 80 damage and ignore special um, effects on the opponent's Pokemon like the Aegis Lash or, I don't know, a Pyro or something like that, something crazy like that, so... The, another Pokémon that I'm playing, another attacker, is Miltank. One energy, powerful friends, deals 80 damage if, if Vileplume is in play, because it needs a stage 2, but it's a non-EX attacker, that's why Miltank is in here. Of course, uh, if we start the game with Miltank, it's also pretty good. Uh, the opponent might just knock it out, it's 100 uh, HP Pokémon, but if we stick a Lucky Helmet in there, we will be drawing cards and we will have some time to set up in our bench. That's all the Pokemon. 
and then the supporter line is for AZ pretty surprising right but AZ is really important here there's a lot of stuff first of all it helps us retreat from any our Pokemon that might be stuck in the active position especially if one of those Pokemon is Vileplume it allows us to get our Vileplume in our hands in order to play items and then if we have the stadium we can just put the Vileplume down again on the same turn it also allows us to draw cards with Shaman EX. If we have a Shaman EX in our bench or in the active position, we use AZ and we put it down again and draw a lot of cards. We are playing a couple of Lysander, also pretty good card, but we kind of have to draw into it. So I sometimes wish I was playing more. Maybe it's wrong to only play two with this deck because we do not play Via Seeker or something like that or anything like that. So yeah, Lysander, uh, also pretty good card. And then as far as the draw card supporters go, we have four Professor Birds Observations and four Professor Sycamore because they are that good, it's the best that we have so far. And then we have four, one Shauna to round out the <laughs> the draw supporters. Like if I could play any other, I would, but unfortunately there's no other that I would rather play other than Shauna. And then we get to the energy finally. So we have the four Double Dragon, four Double Colorless, and two grass energy because I don't know maybe one of these guys gets to attack someday but hopefully not uh, hopefully we'll never need that but yeah they also work with mill tank both the double dra the double uh, sorry double colorless or the grass energy work with a mill tank the grass energy also works with the high dragon and then the double dragon works with the dragon types of course the double double uh, colorless sorry a lot of double energies. <laughs> uh, work really well with Shemin uh, to bring it back to our hand so yeah that's a deck a lot of synergy a uh, very interesting build I think uh, I've seen a lot of people play and I kinda took some inspiration out of people that I uh, faced I don't think I ever seen anyone play the the lucky helmets I think that's a totally original idea on my part uh, well but I wouldn't be surprised if anyone else was playing it really uh, but yeah, that's the deck. Uh, let's just take it for a spin and play a match or two. Okay, so it seems like we're playing against a Fire Psychic type deck. I don't really know what to expect. We flip tails, but the opponent is starting. Okay. There's a Mulligan and there's Blacksmiths and Fire Energy. We start with an Oddish, which isn't the best thing ever, but... I think I'm going to put this down. You never know if the opponent is playing a Latias or something. Oh, Litleo. If my opponent plays a Pyro next turn, I'm kind of screwed because I have to find a High Dragon to be able to deal damage to that. Um, our hand is not the greatest thing ever. We got the Gloom, but we don't have the Stadium yet. So, yeah, this is going to be hard. I'm not going to play the Energy yet, of course. Okay, we got the Stadium and we got the Trainer's Mill. Let's see. Go for the AZ, but actually I think... I'll go for the Sycamore, yeah. It's a better supporter for the following turn. Let's just draw four cards out of this Shaman. We have actually two Ultra Balls. I can actually get to the item lock this turn. That's really good. I think I'm actually going for that. Let's see, with this card. These guys. I can go for the Shaman also the, after this. But if I don't draw the Vile Plume, I'm really screwed, so... Yeah, I think I'm just going for the Vile Plume. We might get stuck, but I want to make it as hard as possible possible for the opponent to find a Pyroar. Because if he does this turn, if he has an Ultra Ball and just uses, goes into Pyroar, I'm going to have a lot of trouble uh, taking care of him, because I have to find the High Dragon before I start dealing damage. If he, oh, he's Sycamore, the place is Juniper. If he kills my Oddish, I guess I'll go with um, Mill Tank. Oh, nice, my opponent didn't even attack. And we drew an AZ, that's perfect. Um, actually, if he evolved into Pyroar and killed our Oddish, we would be drawing a couple of cards anyway. And that's also really good, but yeah, I'm not think I'm going to play this Oddish. The Oddish sorry. So yeah. Just passing the turn, maybe the opponent is going to evolve here. So there's a Verbank. I don't really need my stadium anymore, but... Oh, and the opponent can't play uh, lasers either, so it doesn't matter. Oh, there's an N, okay. We are playing against cards that will rotate, hopefully, when this deck becomes legal, so... Does my opponent evolve? That's a big question, I think. 
Nope, he's just killing our Oddish. Nice, and we draw a couple of extra cards out of that lucky helmet. So, stadium to trump his stadium. And of course, we will play this energy. And do I play this guy down? I might, but yeah, I think we can get Lysander. So, I'm just going to use KU's wheel here. And the opponent is going to be in a very bad place right now. He can't play. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't surprise me at all that the opponent concedes. He couldn't play most of the card. I mean, he could only play basic energy Pokemon or supporters, which he did not have because he didn't play one last turn. So yeah, I guess that's the game. So I think we can go for another match. This game, I think the we kind of got lucky with that draw, but at the same time, I had him locking the opponent on the first turn. That's kind of insane. So yeah, let's go for another match. This one was pretty quick. Second match we're playing against a dragon steel deck, maybe it's a metal deck of some sort. Uh, let's see what we find. I was expecting like a huge match that took a long time to play with this deck, but it turns out that if you set up really nicely the opponent just concedes, so that's what we are going for with this deck I guess. Okay, there's the tails, so I will go first, nice. That's first here I'll start with mill tank maybe I should have gone with this guy because I will charge it up but yeah I don't really care if the opponent deals damage to my guy okay so we drew a uh, double dragon so let's just see what we have can go for the lucky helmet that seems fine but actually yeah already finding the the giant f plant forest is really good so I think I'm playing this here putting this thing yeah, because now I find the Shaman, and I'm going to draw a lot of cards, and I'm yet to play the Supporter, which I'll almost assuredly dry, draw. We have a lot of Supporters. Yeah, there we go. So we can actually... Oddish... We can actually evolve this turn. Wait, wait. Uh, I dis uh, I want to keep a, an, an Ultra Ball in hand, and then I think I keep the AZ, because I might just AZ the, the Shaman. And yeah, I think that's fine. Okay, so Oddish, I mean Gloom, and then AZ the Shaman, put it down again, draw some cards, and then just discard. Uh, okay, so I kind of need the energy, so I'm discarding the sh AZ. Oh, I don't know, this is hard. Maybe I keep, yeah, I, I'm going to discard the Stadium. I don't think I need it anymore, yeah. Once again, item lock on the first turn, that's really good. I'm not even going to play this Shaman, I'm just going to keep it in hand. Yeah, maybe should have played it, because I would be drawing an extra card, right? 4, 5, and then, yeah, I would... Yeah, but I'm going to play the energy next turn, so it doesn't matter. It was it would be just the same, now that I think of it. So we're fine. Okay, our opponent ends us, which we actually get a worse hand, <laughs> because this one does not have energy. So that's kind of a bummer. And my opponent is charging up his attacker. Oh, we drew the energy, that's nice. And I actually think I'm going to Lysander out something because I won't be killing this Reshiram anyways. So I think I'm just going for that. That requires a re retreat for free. So I'm just going for the High Dragon. Yeah. <laughs> Would love to hit that Rayquaza, but High Dragon. My opponent has to play an energy to retreat, so. Hopefully this will be annoying and <laughs> oh there's the energy okay and wonder if my opponent is actually retreating this turn or if he's just waiting a little bit more I have a double colorless which I might just play we can actually attack and kill this side dragon this turn but then he would come with his Reshiram and have the first hit on our Giratine and we're not killing that Reshiram in one hit so that's kind of a bummer the Dragon Pokemon are not weak to themselves anymore so I think I'm just going to put on this DCE and actually hit the High Dragon again I know he's going to retreat next turn and kill our Mil Tank, but I'd rather have the first hit on his uh, Reshiram so let's just play this thing and ugh, terrible hand. If 
I need to retreat, I might just play that second high dragon. So let's just hit our opponent. And now maybe we can Lysander out this high dragon later. Even if our opponent just kills our mill tank, I think we will be fine. He will be discarding an energy. Oh, there's a double dragon. Oh, he might just use the Reshiram's ability. Okay, and we actually drew an interesting card in that double dragon energy. Lucky Helmet gets stuck in our hand, but I don't think we really care too much about that. Do I play the Shiratina or not? Uh, yeah, I'm going to play the Grass Energy on the High Dragon, because now if he removes an energy or something like that, we can just play our Double Dragon again. And our opponent kind of, I don't know, he threw that Reshiram under the bus instead of attacking, but I okay, I don't know if the opponent had the energy in hand. I guess he had a Lightning, but he couldn't play because he had already played the Double Dragon, so now I think I'd just go with Juratina as planned. Oh, we actually drew the Double Colossus, so I can put the second Juratina down and put the Double Colossus there, so now I'm ready. I can play that Double Dragon where I need it. Uh, either on the Eye Dragon or on the Juratina, if I can avoid uh, attacking with anything other than the Juratina, I will, but... Yeah, the Lucky Helmet's got stuck in hand, but... It's also a nice card just to play on the first turn on our EX, it's just so that our opponent does not have Ringer us. Oh, there's a Sycamore, that's really good. Let's just play it. I don't want any of this garbage. We draw a lot of supporters, which are fine. So let's just kill that Reshiram. Now my opponent kind of needs to hit energy really bad, and it doesn't. He can't be a double uh, dragon energy because he can't play that, so he kind of has to find another fire and I guess a lightning would do or two fire energy something like that let's see what happens other than that they can only play Pokemon so yeah we won <laughs> once again we kinda end the game early because we just locked our opponent to totally out uh, yeah I guess that's the deck uh, I don't think our opponent's decks were uh, like the best decks in the format so once again um, take these results with a grain of salt I don't th know if this deck is going to be that great or not but it's definitely decent and definitely worth the the, the playtime so try it out tell me what you guys think in the comment section below as usual and until the next video see you guys bye